Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog, my vlog. I live here in Japan. If you're new tuning in, probably not though, but yeah. I'm just like getting my face together, but I wanted to pop on here and say I ended up getting some of the Sakura Cherry Blossom MAC stuff, uh, MAC products that they released. A lot of you guys were DMing me asking me if it's international. It was an international launch, I believe, because some of you guys from Australia and Mexico and Italy and all these different places around the world were telling me that you could already get your hands on them and they were sold out <laughs> and you guys are also DMing me pictures that you got some but yeah I don't know why Japan I swear was like the last release after work yesterday I went and picked up a spray and a lipstick it's funny because all the lip glosses were like sold out when I got there the spray was there and I think two or one of the lips, one of the lipsticks, I don't know, I don't remember, was sold out. It's funny how like every country different products sell out first. A lot of you guys were telling me that the lip glosses were the last things available um, in your country. But here it was like, I swear, one of the first things sold out. But let me show you guys. So this is the setting spray. Comes in a very beautiful box. And this is the lipstick. Also comes in another beautiful box. I don't know if you can see that. It's almost like an iridescent sheen to it. Um, like a hologram, wait, holographic, and you open it up and it's rose gold on the inside. And I ended up getting this shade right here. It has its original MAC smell to the lipstick, kind of like a vanilla. Okay, so this is called Wagasa Twirl. Twirl it. Mm. Wagasa is one of those Japanese style umbrellas that maybe you can like remember from Memoirs of a Geisha. It's like the bamboo red umbrellas that you open up. So yeah. And then the cherry blossom spray. So this retailed for 3,100 yen. I really like the packaging. It looks quite cute. I wonder about the scent. Like, is it gonna be a really strong scent? Because the lavender is quite strong, but I like it because like in the morning, I feel like it relaxes me. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it also has an iridescent sheen to the cap. And actually I want to use this right now because I just need to set my face smells strong. Now I'm excited to try this. Huh. Wow. Quite pink. I haven't decided if I'm going to wear the oversized denim jacket yet. I might change it out, but I'm going to wear this like white one piece set. Although, um, okay, wait, let me take this off. This waffle kind of thick sweater shirt is from Uniqlo. I got it for $12. And then I have this white skirt here. Um, this is from Lowry's Farm. It almost looks the same. This is kind of like a rib waffle and this is a waffle. And then I'm gonna wear my very light tan colored sneakers. I am heading into Tokyo. I'm gonna meet Ariana and we're going to a meetup, um, like that meetup app. We're gonna go to an all-female language exchange. So there's gonna be Japanese women and then women who speak English and you switch back and forth from Japanese to English. Ariana has been to quite a few of these. I've never been. I'm like <laughs> very apprehensive to go, but that's just like my anxiety with like new people and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna push through and I'm sure I'm gonna have a good time at the end of the day. My friend Natalie runs the event, so yeah. We're gonna go do that. I'm with this girl. Hi. Off to the language meetup. You're gonna support me, right? I'm going to give you no support. No! <laughs> no! Ariana got a cute I'll one. Watch it. okay, it's fine. I just got regular coffee. Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer, it's me. Oh, pray for me. Okay, so we just left the meetup. It was fun. Met some very nice people. Probably gonna go again. It's not a YouTube meetup. No. Language meetup. Yeah. And yeah, so now we're gonna go meet our friend Raj for a late lunch because it's like one. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna eat Hawaiian food. We're just walking through Ginza now. You can tell you're in Ginza on the weekend because they close down the road and people just walk all over the street. I'll show you. Like this. Well, mine is the crosswalk that people are walking in, but yeah. You can see these, this couple here. Yeah, all the lights are off on Yeah, them. no shingle, no street lights, no nothing. We 
Lux amazing agakapa rice. Ariana got shrimp and avocado omu rice. Huh, it looks interesting. Calamari and Raj got taco rice. Do you wanna say hi Raj? Hi. Hi. <laughs> and we're gonna eat. Hey guys, long time no taco, at least for me. So, Saturday, huh. I stopped vlogging on Saturday evening when I got home because I was exhausted and uh, I just, you know, spent the night with tea and then the next day I took a mental health day just to like clear my head and just not do anything. Don't touch social media. Don't do anything with social media. Don't do anything for work. Nothing. Just a, just a me day, you know, a me and a tea day. So I spent the day with my husband just relaxing and watching Netflix. We took a nice long walk. It was very nice and caught up. And yeah, so it's now Monday and after I got off work today, Corny, Corny Co, I don't know if you know our YouTube channel, but you should, I'll link it down below. We are going to head to the Unko Museum or Poop Museum. Unko means poop in Japanese, or if you want to be really cute, you can call it Unchi, which means poo poo. So yeah, we're going to go to that museum. It opened up in Yokohama here over the weekend. I think it opened March 15th. And I think it's gonna run for a couple months. I'll put the date here for when it's supposed to close and I'll also link the page down below if you're interested in going. It's about 1,600 yen to get in and I think you can only stay in for about 60 minutes. I'll see when I get there. Corny was like, are you free? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, let's go. I'm like, let's go. So now we're gonna go, but I'm gonna show you my outfit quickly first. Okay, so tonight's outfit, I am rocking the beret as usual. Um, I wanna get wear out of it before it gets too warm to wear it, you know? And then I have this very oversized long sleeve shirt on from GU. It's kind of like an off-white tan beige color. And then I'm wearing my cold Roy, very warm white skirt from GU that I actually got for like 500 yen last year. Very warm, it's quite loose, which is great. I can tuck a lot of things in. I have heat tech legging tights on and my thigh high boots just to keep it kind of not so dark because it's spring. I wanna wear my long jacket over it. We're here. There's Corny. Hi, subscribe to our channel down below. <laughs> so we're heading in. It's one, I don't know if I mentioned this already. It's like 1,600. It, you're better to book online if you want to get the time that you want because if you just show up you have to take whatever time slot is available and not sold out. It is a Monday and it is already sold out so there you go. Wow the art in here is crazy. Wow. Some are pixelated and some are super clear. Wow. It almost looks like a movie theater. Very cool. Wow, you look so fancy. Get it. So it opened on March 15th and it closes in July, July 15th. So if you're interested, you have time. So it's not very big. You can see the map here. Unfortunately, it's all in Japanese for everyone looking for stuff. So this says it's an Unko Volcano. So a uh, poop volcano right in the middle there. You have Flying Unko. So this is flying poop. So this area here, there's a bunch of toilets lined up and it's called My Unko Maker, My Poop Maker. This is a rest space. That's clever and cute. Hop, step, jump, poo but it's spelled like poo. Very clever with your marketing. Very funny, while we're waiting in line, you can hear them be like, say no, which is like kind of like one, two, three, and then they all chant together. And go, poo. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I can hear some of the girls in the lineup being like, oh, Mechi Tanoshimini, like I'm really looking forward to it. So Corny was telling me that, what are those escape rooms? Is that what they're called? There's like escape rooms here, which is why like I seen some of the doors saying certain kind of thingies. I don't know what they were saying, but I've never actually done an escape room. Have you? Yes, I have, and it's so much fun, honestly. Really? I'm terrible at them, but yeah, like you have to solve together. It's like team building, a lot of teamwork. So. Uh-oh, I don't know if I'm good at that. I'm oh, good. She's a smart cookie. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm, I mean like teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> Look, you can just dictate, like, you go there, you do this, and I'll be like, okay, let's do that. Let's <laughs> Oh my god, 
Oh, that said it was warm. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so much shit in my life. There's poop tables, poop chairs, everywhere. So the whole goal of this game is to be able to shoot the poop when it comes up. Oh, I almost got it. <laughs> I did that on purpose. I took my jacket off and it's like burning up in here. We're gonna go to the next area, which are drawings that people did of poo. Wow, that one's so beautiful. And this one's so cute too. These are like whiteboard toilets, so people can draw whatever they want on them. We have the history of poop. And you can touch these. Feel free to touch. Jurassic poop. Oh my god, it's from Canada. Get out of here. Wakanda. Moika, one more time. One more time. Big voice. Big voice? Yeah. <laughs> Jump on the poo to squish it. <laughs> oh my god, no. Eh? How come these don't work for me ever? This room is by far my favorite room. It looks so cool. We hope you enjoyed your visit to the Unko Museum Yokohama. While this is the end of the show, you could always say it is the start of your own exhibition. That's because each time you produce Unko poop, you are bringing a new work of art into the world. Thank you for visiting and we sincerely hope to see you again. We're leaving and dang, the crowd suddenly got huge. We're all finished. I just love this wall behind me. Um, it's over there. But yeah, I will say that it's very hot inside. Yes. But I mean, it was fun. It's very like unique because you'll never hear people scream poop all the time ever. So yeah. I will say that if it's like an Instagram spot, it's very dark inside try and take nice Instagram pictures, you really need to like edit your pictures or know what you're doing to take a good picture. Other than that, I had a good time. It's very catered towards young people, social media people, and um, children. We're hungry, so we're gonna go. Bye. Bye. I'm home now, showered, all clean, ready for bed. I just want to come on here and say thank you so much for watching. As always, if you've made it to the end of the video, you're loyal. If you like this video and you like my vlogs here in Japan, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!